Hi there, my name is Anthony Lee and I'm doing a PhD at the University of Queensland. I'm looking at why women prefer facial masculinity in a sexual partner. Facial masculinity is thought to be preferred in a partner due to heritable genetic benefits to immune functioning. So that is, men that have more masculine facial features are more likely to have stronger immune systems and that immune system will be inherited by any mutual offspring that you'd have with that partner. So this theory is the basis for a lot of research in women's preferences for facial masculinity. Um, but it relies on a key assumption that hasn't adequately been tested. That is, whether facial masculinity itself is heritable and therefore whether those benefits can be passed down onto offspring. In a study for my PhD, I decided to test this directly, looking at identical and non-identical twins. We took photographs of a large sample of twins we were able to petition the variance in facial masculinity into genetic components, common environmental components, and residual components, because identical twins share 100% of their genetic material, while non-identical twins share 50% of their segregating genes. So we use a statistical technique to objectively define facial masculinity from these photographs using um, landmark coordinates. What we found was that there was a significant genetic component to facial masculinity. However, we also found a correlation between opposite sex twins. That is, more facially masculine men were also more likely to have facially masculine sisters. This would suggest that the genetic component that influenced facial masculinity in men also influences facial masculinity in women. So this suggests that there is no net genetic benefit in choosing a facially masculine partner as a mate because any benefit to male offspring would be offset by costs to female offspring. This finding suggests that perhaps facial masculinity is preferred for more direct benefits, such as reduced disease transmission between partners, or perhaps facially masculine men are better able to compete intersexually against other males. So this is just one assumption made by this predominant theory. The next step is to test the assumption that facial masculinity is associated with better immune functioning to get a better understanding for why women may prefer facial masculinity in a partner.